welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we are going to talk about detergents so in this chapter we are uh, talking about the things that we use in our day-to-day -day life so in the previous video we had learned about the toothpaste the second uh, thing that we use in our day-to-day -day life is the detergents so we are going to study in detail about what are detergents what how are detergents helpful in cleaning our clothes and various surfaces and also we are going to learn various types of detergents so let us start so basically the word detergent is derived from a latin word detergere which means to wipe away so a detergent is what you know a detergent is a substance that cleans or wipes away dirt okay now so what are detergents have you seen them in your day-to-day -day life yes just have a look at these pictures can you see these pictures what is the first one it is the soap nut then you have the soap pot if you don't know the names this means what you know the first picture is of the rita rita you might have heard this is the shikakai then we have the baking soda we have the washing powder soap liquid soaps and shampoos so all these are the are nothing but the detergents all these uh, products helps us to clean the dirt surfaces so how do these detergents help us to clean a surface let us have a look now see look at this picture normally and the molecules of detergents are long and they have the properties of uh, they have they are long and there it's two ends you know the two ends of the uh, surfactants or you can say the detergents have different properties normally the molecules have two ends one end holds on to the water whereas the other end holds on to the oily substance like a grease then what happens during the washing process see normally what happens is during the washing cycle the surfactant or the detergent mixes with the water yes so look here look here the surfactant is mixed with the water and this reaches here the oily substance okay, then what happens then the grease loving part okay see water uh, the surfactant has got two ends one which is attaching to the oily part and one end which is attaching to the water okay so what uh, so what happens is that these living part uh, loving end of the surfactant molecules attach to the dirt which is there on your cloth and then what happens because of this since the detergent is also containing water this dirt breaks into two parts uh, two or more parts and they are broken down into smaller pieces then what happens during the rinse cycle water molecules also move past along these uh, moving past attach themselves to the opposite water loving ends of the surfactant molecules look here this blue color this water is attaching to the uh, surfactant okay so they both are uh, getting attached to the dirt and finally what happens the water molecules pull away the surfactant and the dirt away from the genes and hence because of this we are able to clean the uh, cloth okay so what is this children the property of the substances of spreading on any surface is called as the surface activity and the substance like this detergent is cleaning it yes so that substance is called as the surfactant okay now uh, next one types of detergents there are two types of detergents natural detergent and man-made detergent so these you can see here the soap nut and the soap pot like rita and chikakai these are the natural detergents and they contain a chemical they are not man-made they are available in the nature so in the olden days 
uh, like 2000 years ago and all no this soap was invented or you can say the few years back many many long years back, like 2000 years ago the soap was invented but uh, many years before that we had the soaps and uh, soap nuts and litter which we were uh, uh, soap nut and uh, soap pot which we, we were using it for cleaning our hairs and our body okay so and these they how are we able to clean it they how how do we get that leather or uh, leather because of these products See, they have a chemical which is called as saponin okay which helps us and this saponin is a chemical which helps us to uh, produce the leather okay now use of soap nut and soap pot does not have any harmful effect on our clothes as well as on our body okay it is very very safe to use let us have a look at the man-made detergents. So man-made detergents are of are two. One is a soap which we use and the other one are the synthetic detergents. So soaps are also of the two types. Okay. In earlier days, no children, soap was prepared using animal fat and wood ash. But nowadays we have a different method of preparing the soap. So the different types of soaps also there is hard soap which is uh, used for washing clothes and then there is a soft soap which we use while bathing okay and then what is synthetic detergent synthetic detergent is any synthetic detergent other than soap okay which is used in cleaning any surface okay now synthetic detergents are also used in the cosmetics and they can be used in hot water also okay thank you